It's more of my bigger music box sets. Ahoy, ahoy everybody and welcome to the next part of a look at my music box sets and we're moving on to that shelf which has got all the bigger stuff, mainly vinyl, bloody emails, um, yeah mainly vinyl, some CD in there, a lot of these I've unboxed so I'll be skimming over them but let's quick, quick oh um, any stuff that I haven't already unboxed and you want to see in more detail let me know in the comments below, deep breath, let me know in the comments below and I'll do unboxing videos for them but because they're older you'll probably find unboxings anyway elsewhere on YouTube but feel free to ask. Uh, so first up, actually halfway through listening to this at the moment, I have briefly shown this on another video, this is Five Stars Luxury the Definitive Anthology 1984-1991 so this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 disc set so it's got all their albums, Luxury of Life, Silk and Steel, Between the Lines, Rock the World, Five Star and Shine. And each of those has got bonus tracks which are contemporary B-sides. A lot of which are funny instrumentals which I don't quite grasp. Then it's got disc of the 7-inch mixes, two discs of 12-inch mixes and then DVD with all their videos and some... I think it's got some BBC appearances on there as well, maybe not, I might be misremembering on that. Um, but this was compiled by Denise Pearson who was the lead singer and through Amazon came with a signed print. Uh, I picked this up quite cheap, I think 30 quid I paid for it which I thought was a bargain. I'm enjoying it so far, I'm up to disc 5, I've just listened to the 5 star album. There's the obvious, you know, big hit singles that are great but otherwise it's, it's all just nice music, it doesn't, you know, it's not wow but it's not terrible either. So yeah, that's a nice little box set. Uh, this I've done an unboxing for. This is a Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction box set, which isn't very camera friendly, but you can just about make out the embossing. Uh, I have listened to all the CDs. I've just got the Blu-ray to listen, stroke watch on there. The Blu-ray's got 5.1 surround mix of the album, plus some promo videos on there. But I've spoken about this a lot on the unboxing brilliant album this just came out a couple of days ago well uh what are we now the 10th so it came out a week a week and two days ago this is the second leo sayer vinyl box set i did do an unboxing of the first one i didn't bother with this one because the first one didn't get many views but this is his fourth fifth and sixth album endless flight thunder in my heart and leo sayer each one is i'll just get one out if I can. Uh, obviously replicas of the original albums. And each one is on clear vinyl. And then like the first one, this also comes with a signed print. And it's a nice one on this one. Really like that one. I like the first one, but uh, I like this one more. Uh, let's put it back in. Okay, so that leaves. Let's put that there. Talking to myself. Okay, these I have all unboxed. So these are the three Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy releases that have come so far. So the primary phase, secondary phase and tertiary phase. As I've done complete unboxings of these, there is a Hitchhiker's playlist if you want to watch them. Part 4 is on order, comes out later this month. Um, each comes with a signed print, the fourth one comes with a print signed by Stephen Fry, so that's good. Uh, they're all on coloured vinyl. The first one is on red vinyl, the second one is on orange vinyl, and the third one is on... where did I do that? Um, blue vinyl, I think. No, green vinyl. That's it. I've done unboxes all of those, so I won't go into great depth on those. This is for the League of Gentlemen's Vinyl Cuts box set. I've done an unboxing of this. 
just a brilliant, brilliant release. So heavy. Uh, all there. It's for the soundtrack. And by the soundtrack, I mean basically the TV shows without the pictures rather than the music. This is, you know, the soundtrack of the free TV series. And it's also got the complete On the Town with the League of Gentlemen radio series. Each one's across three discs. So six sides of vinyl, side per show. All on coloured vinyl, all themed coloured vinyls to the series. There's uh, Bloods, uh, Nosebleeds splatter vinyl in here and various other colours and bits and pieces. Brilliant artwork. It's got prints. It's got a uh, seven inch of Creme Brulee's Voodoo Lady, which is Voodoo Lady on one side and an etching on the other side. Uh, it's got a photo print signed by the League in there. And then I also got an extra poster signed by the league with it because I ordered it directly through their website as I've done a full unboxing if you haven't watched it I do recommend it because it is just a beautiful beautiful thing for record store day they're doing a similarly designed release of the audio of their last live tour which should fit in the box I hope but hopefully I will be getting that this is Kylie's latest album, Golden. I've done a full unboxing of this, plus the other bits I got at the same time. I love this album. The more I listen to it, the more I enjoyed it. Uh, the last track, Music's Too Sad Without You, with Jack Savaretti, is one of the best things she's ever done. Saw her live on tour doing this, and it was magnificent. I was in the Golden Circle, and it was great. Got showered with confetti. Um, the video, the unboxing for this, is I think my most viewed video on YouTube so you've probably seen it. This I haven't shown. This is the box set for McFly's Anthology Tour. I love McFly. Might not be hip to say so but they are a brilliant band. Yes. So in 2014 I think it was. Does it stay in here? Ah. This came out in 2016, so it might have been 2015 that they did the shows. They, I mean, they haven't split, but they're on hiatus. So they reformed um, and did a, oh, in three or four cities, they did three consecutive nights and they played all their five albums over those three nights. And this, so it's a book all about them, four, yeah, four venues over four cities. Book all about the shows, the set list for each night. A triple A pass. A set of Harry's drumsticks. One of Tom's plectrums. One of Danny's. <laughs> and one of Dougie's. And then the important bit. Uh, so CD1 covers the first night, so that's the first two albums. CD2, album two. Oh, sorry, album three. Uh, no, I lied. CD1 is just the first album. Plus some extra bits. Yeah. Album two, album three, album four, and album five. And on each disc, apart from disc two, it's got a version of The Heart Never Lies from a different venue. Because... At the end of each gig they sort of asked what, because an album isn't long enough for a full gig, or two albums even. Um, they asked, you know, what else do you want us to play? And then practically every night they got the heart that never lies. Um, this is Lads, 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 literally on tour of a banter. So this is basically all the between song bits they've sort of snipped out, but it's very funny. And then the DVD is, unfortunately it's not a recording of a show, it's sort of a a tour 
documentary type thing but a nice little package it was quite expensive really for the price it cost it would have been nice to have some signed stuff in there but the only way to get anything signed was if you bought a commemorative presentation disc and that was silly money so I didn't bother but it's a nice package they also released the anthology tour as a sort of greatest hits live two disc I think it was CD which I also bought because I'm a mug as you've probably gathered by now um, this I've done an unboxing for this was a Christmas present this lovely album or set of albums uh, Joni Mitchell's Love As Many Faces a quartet a ballet waiting to be danced which is four three-sided albums fourth side on each one is etched uh, sort of themed compilation for her career this is the first Leo Sayer box set as I said I've done an unboxing of this so I won't go into much detail this is his first three albums it also includes the booklet that came with his first album no his second album just a boy and I'll show you the sign these are all on clear much as the first one was and I will get this out yeah there it is that was the first print No one I've done an unboxing for Beatles White Album Anniversary Edition did a full comprehensive one of this having since listened to it amazing did an unboxing of this knowing me knowing you Steve Alan Partridge I was going to say for Steve Coogan um, BBC Radio Series vinyl box set so again won't go into details free vinyl discs uh, different coloured vinyl, sports casual coloured vinyl, red, blue and green I think they were but excellent again uh, if you've not been watching the TV series watch it, brilliant uh, where are we at time wise? I'll save those okay this I did an unboxing of obviously this is the Prentice Piano and a Microphone 1983 release that came out last year he says yeah yes last year and so this was a demo piano demos well he sort of sat at a piano and played rather than being demos from 1983 uh comes on cd in the middle there and on vinyl but as i said i did a full unboxing of that what else can i show you that'll be quick as well with reference this is one night alone live this was a box set released through the MPG Music Club. It is worth a lot of money. Uh, this recordings, sort of live compilations. It's only ever live CD release from his One Night Alone tour, which probably is best tour in my opinion, musically anyway. Uh, so it's got two CDs that basically form a whole show. But as I say, it's compiled from various recordings. And then it's also got... Uh, the after show it ain't over with various tracks on it uh, a fold out poster and a booklet with all sorts of quotes from various MPG Music Club members and all sorts of band members and all sorts of things in it but yes, this is, as I say, this is worth quite a bit of money nowadays. Okay, I'll leave this part here. Yes, I will. Yep. Um, probably one more, maybe two more videos, I would have thought. Uh, you can watch previous ones on the playlist and future ones. As I say, anything you want me to go into more detail on, uh, leave a comment below and I will do so. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.